Okay guys, I was a little disappointed that I lost a lot of the footage of me actually using these shadows. So I have a few clips of me using them. Um, as far as how I feel about the shadows, I do like them. There are some that are a hit and there are some that are a miss. The neutral colors, I find the top three are very ashy looking. So let's go ahead and hey get guys, started. I'm coming to you guys with zero makeup on because I wanted to go ahead and do the Vice 4 unboxing with you guys. I just got mine on uh, Saturday, I believe, either Friday or Saturday, and I haven't had a chance to play with it, but I have looked at it, and I have been really, really excited to try it. So, basically, in this review, I'm just gonna give you an up-close look at the colors. I am going to go over the colors with you and give you a live swatch. I am also going to do a eyeshadow look with it and uh, give you my final thoughts about the palette. So if you're interested in this review, okay guys, so this is how it came, or how it comes. And it does come with, it does come with this pencil here. I've already used this pencil on my brows. <laughs> I didn't have any other purpose for it. So. Guys, ignore my nail. Like, both my thumb, my middle fingers just came off. So annoying. But um, here's the bag. And it's way more green than just picking up. And I've already looked at it, but I'll add a surprise for you guys again. So, here it is gorgeous it's supposed to be reminiscent of an oil slick you guys know how you go outside and you see the oil slick and you see the beautiful like rainbow colors in it i've always loved that so that is it typical vice standard looking palette and i have none of the vices but i do have the ammo palette i have the naked two the naked three the naked smoky and um, the electric palette. So, da 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 da. Comes with this ginormous mirror. And here are the shades. Ignore my finger, but there are the shades. Comes with the standard Urban Decay brush. I still haven't peeled the plastic on my mirror. So I'm not gonna do the swatches right here because if you guys don't know, I have a ton of tattoos and I really don't have, well, that's a nice area. I could do them here. But um, generally I have a ton of tattoos and I don't really have much room to do swatches on. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and name off the colors and then we're gonna get into using some of these. Owns, Grip, Dead Beat, Beat Down, Pandemonium, then we have Framed, we're coming up on this one. Framed, Fastball, 1985, Underhand, Harlot. Then we have Discreet, starting from this row, Discreet. Grasshopper, which is a beautiful green. C-Note, Arctic, Robbery. Then we're going down to the last one. We have Delete, Crowbar, Low, Flame, and Bitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together some type of look. I don't know what, and let's get started. Okay, good people, I am back. And I'm gonna continue on with that color flame. And I have my handy dandy packing brush. So I'm gonna go and I like to swipe mine Yeah, there's fallout. I don't know why they think that this new formula wasn't going to have fallout, that's silly. So I'm just gonna pack that on. Maybe I'll just... So, so far it's buttery as usual, as, you know, classic Urban Decay, you know, shadows are. Okay, so I have that 
Um, the color is very pretty. The payoff is, it's not anything grand. Again, I'm not using the beautiful, beautiful colors that's in here. I'm just using the very uh, basic colors that's here, but this is still pretty. I got a little bit, I'm gonna take my Morphe blending brush and just kind of work that all together. Okay, so that's what I have so much. I'm going to work a, one of these colors into my crease and I think I'm gonna take the color delete. And that's this one here. Whoops, that color there. I'm gonna take delete and that darker brown color and go on into the crease. And that's very pigmented. See how I picked that up? I should be very careful with that color. I loaded up my brush a little bit too much. I'm just gonna swipe it up because I don't want it all the way down into my crease and I'm gonna round it out down here. So I'm just gonna dust that and blend. Okay, so here's the final look. Um, I didn't do anything but just throw on a little bit of foundation and some lipstick. Um, pretty much, uh, the shadows are okay. When I went to put on my uh, NARS, I did have a lot of fallout. So here are a few swatches live. Okay guys, so I'm starting here with Bones. Bones is sort of a satiny uh, color. It's very, um, very silky, very buttery. The next one is going to be Frame. Frames I found to be a little chalky. It didn't show up good. I tried to use it as a transition color and it didn't show up at all. Um, the next one is Discreet. And again, it's just a basic, basic neutral. And the next color is Bitter. It, it didn't show up on my husband's arm. Um, it just blended in with his skin. So I did it again. And as you can see, it looks kind of chalky, but I did use Discreet uh, as a transition color. And I do like it as that is very warm. The next color is going to be Grip, which is an iridescent color. It's beautiful, has little flecks in it, silver flecks, and it's very satiny. The next color is going to be Fastball. And Fastball is between a peach and a pink um, to me, and it's very silky, very buttery. The next one is Grasshopper, which, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do an aqua look using uh, three colors that's in this palette, including Grasshopper. This is the one that's all over my lid, which is Flame. And Flame, I'm a little disappointed with. It's a beautiful color, but um, it has a lot of gold flecks that gets all over my uh, con uh, concealer and my foundation. So it's uh, a lot of fallout in that color. The next one is going to be Deadbeat, which is just a dark black color. And the next one is 1985, which is a fuchsia which is very pretty. The next one is going to be C Note, which is like a turquoise, ashier, uh, I, I don't know how to describe this color. It's just frosted, it's like a frosted green. And the next one is going to be Low, which is just a very dark taupey color. And I think this is all the swatches I was able to get, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.